Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Chemistry with Kat. Today we are going to cover moles, mass, and molar mass. In this video, you are going to learn probably the most important and the most useful tool you will ever have in chemistry. And you're gonna figure out why in about 30 seconds. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, so moles. Moles are our unit of measure in chemistry. I always like to use the analogy with baking. I don't say that I need a thousand little specks of flour. I say I need one cup of flour. In chemistry, we say we need one mole of a substance or half a mole or a quarter of a mole, etc. Remember that atoms are so, 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 so small. We can't say we need five million atoms in a sample. It's so much easier to say we need 0.05 moles of this substance. You pretty much cannot do chemistry unless you know how to find the moles. The most common way to find moles is by using the mass of the mixture. However, there is another way and that's using Avogadro's number, which we're going to review tomorrow. Coming up right now, we're going to learn an equation where you can take the mass and convert that to moles, or you can take moles and convert that to mass. So when you're working in the lab, if the experiment calls for five moles of a substance, you can then convert that to a mass and then know how much to put in. It's absolutely the most useful thing you will ever know in chemistry. Before we get into that, I just want to quickly review the definition of molar mass. And I don't want you to confuse that with molecular mass. So remember on the periodic table, the mass underneath each element is the atomic mass. And that is put in atomic mass unit, AMU or U for short. Now, when we have a molecule, all we have to do is add up the individual atomic masses and we will get the molecular mass and that is written in atomic mass unit U. We can do the exact same thing for molar mass. All we do is add up the different elements in a molecule, but this time we put it in grams per mole. So I don't want you to get caught on a trick question on an exam. If they say molecular mass, make sure the units are U. And if they say molar mass, make sure the units are grams per mole. The reason this works is because on the periodic table, that atomic mass that's written there is AMU, atomic mass unit, but it can also be the mass per mole, grams per mole. So we can still calculate molar mass with those numbers, just remember the units. I like to do my equations in these cool little triangles. So in my triangle, I have mass up top, then I draw this line here, and then I have moles here and molar mass here. I'm writing it up there because I wanna keep it there for this entire lesson in case you forget. What I absolutely love about these little triangles is that you can just cover up what you're looking for and it'll tell you the equation. For example, if you're looking for moles, you would just cover up moles and you would know that it's mass divided by molar mass. If you need the molar mass, you cover up molar mass and you know it's mass divided by moles. Anytime you can use these cool little tricks, do it. Memorize this triangle, trust me, the sooner you know it, the easier your life will be. It's one of those things though, when you're in university, you will know this whether you want to know it or not because you're gonna use it so much. Okay, my first question is how many moles are in 0.38 grams of copper sulfate pentahydrate, CuSO4 bonded to 5H2O? Now, this question gives us the mass already, 0.38 grams, but it doesn't give us the molar mass. It does give us the molecule. So we have to find the molar mass using the periodic table. And I wanted to use this molecule because it often trips people up. So we have copper sulfate here, but then that copper sulfate is bound to five water molecules. So let's find the molar mass. On the periodic table, copper weighs 63.55 grams, plus sulfur, which weighs 32.07 grams. And then we have four oxygens. So we go four times 16 grams. 16 is on the periodic table. Now we have to do water. So we're gonna add more 
This, remember the five up front, means that there's five water molecules. So each water molecule has two hydrogens. So we have to multiply five by two, and that means there's 10 hydrogens. So we go 10 times 1.008 grams, and then we have five more oxygens, five times 16 grams. This is super easy to punch into your calculator as long as you put the brackets in to account for the multiplication that's happening within the addition. This will equal 249.7 grams per mole. That's our molar mass. Now, to find the moles, we know that moles equals mass divided by molar mass which is going to equal 0 0.38 grams divided by our molar mass, which is 249.7 grams per mole. You'll see that the grams cancel out. 0 0.0015 mole. Now, that has two significant figures, just like in the question, so we're good with that. But then if we wanted to write that in scientific notation, we would go one, two, three. So 1.5 times 10 to the negative three mole. If you need a review on significant figures or on scientific notation, there are videos on my channel that cover that, and I'll link them here. Our final answer is 1.5 times 10 to the negative three moles in this sample. Pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Our next question actually gives us the moles but is now asking for the mass. So remember, we just cover up our triangle and we know that now we have to multiply moles by molar mass. However, they didn't give us the molar mass of this molecule, which they never really will because they give you the periodic table and they expect you to calculate molar mass on your own. So let's find the molar mass of this molecule. Aluminum is 26.98 grams. Or you, but because we're finding molar mass, we need to put grams. And then this is tricky. Remember that the brackets here and then the number three means that there's three of this molecule. So there are actually three nitrogens. The molar mass of nitrogen is 14.01 grams. Again, we have to multiply these two numbers. There's three of this molecule. So there's three oxygens in the molecule and then there's three of them. So there's nine oxygens, nine times 16. That gives us 213.01 grams per mole. Now we can solve for mass. Mass equals moles times molar mass. The moles was 3.068. And then the molar mass is 213. 0.01 grams per mole. Now you'll see once we multiply this, the moles here will cancel out and we'll be left with grams. That leaves us with 653.5 grams. Now our question had four significant figures, so we have four significant figures in our answer. And we're done. All right, here is your homework question for today. A compound has a mass of 14.44 grams and has 0 0.1256 moles. What is the molar mass? Remember to use your triangle to know how to rearrange the equation. And also remember your significant figures. There are four significant figures in the question, so make sure you round to four sig figs. The answer will be on my Instagram, at chemwithcat, the second this video drops so try to solve it yourself and then head over to my Instagram to see if you got it right good luck I hope you liked this video if you did give it a thumbs up please comment share and subscribe to my channel see you tomorrow